Hey everyone and welcome back to another World of Warcraft Legion discussion video. One of the most controversial of many different topics in Legion has been the general prune of many different specs. This all hit off maybe a few weeks ago. Now that the dust has settled, let's just attack this with calm minds and have a bit of a chat about it. Now we've seen this prune in a few different forms. The most noticeable of it is what you could call the removal of homogenized utility. Utility spells which were not traditionally part of a spec's core toolkit, but were added to that spec over time, because generally as you move from expansion to expansion, they would add a new set of talents, some new abilities, and then every class had to keep pace with every other class, and in combination with the whole bring the player, not the class philosophy, we found ourselves in this situation where everyone had a massive toolkit. Certainly the difference between what we have in the Legion Alpha in comparison to say Mists of Pandaria is very, very stark indeed. Now, they have also done another form of what you could call pruning, and that is merging some abilities together. For an example, the one that perhaps stuck out to me the most was the Paladin single target and AoE filler, kind of being on the same button in that if you're standing within your Consecrate, it will do an AoE slash, and that's a way of them cutting down on buttons. They've sort of done that in a few instances. Overall, when we look at the core rotations, we do see that they have been simplified to the point where some in a single target situation are very simplistic indeed. However, in almost all of these scenarios, you find quite a bit of gameplay stuffed away within the specs' talents. Indeed, Legion has far more spec-specific talents than Warlords of Draenor did, which I really do appreciate. However, it's also fair to say that some cases of that are essentially bits of gameplay being removed and added back into the spec. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the Feral Druids of Warlords of Draenor, but essentially, you were able to choose simple passive talents, or if you wanted more throughput, choose a kind of more complex setup of talents that would require more management. This principle seems to have been applied to pretty much every class in Legion generally. You can go with all the passive stuff and make it easy to play, or you can go with the more active spec that is, uh, you know, a bit more involved in terms of the gameplay. Overall, their changes have been in the name of more spec identity, i.e. making the different specs feel a bit more unique in comparison to each other. I actually think they've improved this whole uniqueness thing quite a bit over Warlords of Draenor in most cases, and that's something that I'm actually quite happy about with Legion. It's important to emphasize that the removal of all of this utility mostly impacts the PvP players. Moving from PvE to PvP, the first thing that you notice is, yeah, the skill requirement for your personal gameplay does go up quite a bit because you need to play your class to its absolute limits. Generally speaking, you use far more abilities far more often. So when these toolkits are made smaller, it does result in less interactions going on. Also, we are so focused around CC and burst windows that these abilities are so very, very important to the current PvP gameplay. Whenever you remove utility abilities, you quite literally are lowering the skill cap of the PvP stuff because you're lowering the number of interactions between the different classes. I think this is, though, somewhat emphasized by how healers seem to be quite powerful and damage outside of cooldowns feels quite low, at least in my experience. But I suppose with PvP, it is impossible to deny that something is being lost because literally something is being removed, and that's kind of unfortunate. There is, however, a potential savior in my view, PvP talents can add a whole host of new abilities and passives that are PvP only to the different classes, thus preserving the PvP gameplay without having an impact on the size of the PvE toolkits that much, therefore keeping the encounter designers happy. So, looking at the base classes, sure, there's a bit less gameplay, but once you add the PvP talents over all of that, it should be counteracted. Assuming Blizzard play the cards right with the PvP talent system, that should all be good, so I would say keep on giving feedback about maybe the lack of active abilities in the PvP talents if that concerns you. I would imagine that Blizzard will be taking all of that stuff into account because we're still with a few months off with the uh, Legion launch because it's going to be on the 30th of August, so there is time for that worry with PvP to change. Moving on to the PvE aspect, I have to wonder how much of this will even affect gameplay that much. Bar some outliers, I'm decently happy with the gameplay, especially when you take talents into account. Most of what has been removed will just lead to somebody's role within their raid being a bit more important. And that really is one of the ways that I look at this. At a very core level, you'll still be executing a single target or an AoE DPS rotation, as an example. While trying not to die, healers will still be healing, tanks will still be tanking, interrupts will still be going off, and we'll all be fine. Back in the days of TBC and Wrath, we saw specs have comparatively less utility than today or Warlords 
likely, um, or certainly Miss of Pandaria. Yet their hail is offering some of the best raiding experiences. As the time went on, bosses had more and more mechanics, and then players had more and more mechanics. There was a bit of an arms race there. This significantly increased the complexity of raiding. I just think Blizzard are trying to tone the class complexity down a little bit as far as those kind of outlier like utility things go in order to preserve their ability to make the kind of boss encounters that they think work well. Certainly, I think this would be beneficial for the normal and heroic mode raiding, and let's be real, the vast, vast majority of the people who even engage in raiding are in those two modes. Additionally, having gaps in the utility of your allies means that more team play is forced. If everyone is an amazing, you know, MLG sniper, they don't need help from anyone, right? You know, Master Chief's the best and he doesn't afraid of anyone. Well, if somebody has a weakness, they're going to need to rely on their buddy to patch that weakness. When it comes to holes in the utility toolkit of different classes, it should be extremely important that some classes just aren't that great at like one or two utility things and that in a raid or whatever, you can, you know, help your friends out. A lot of the gameplay that people really liked in the past, I think, partially, came from elements like that. There are also lots of other things at play. But I suppose, to put it quite simply, the classes used to be kind of clunky, right? They weren't super polished, they weren't sort of super designed in a particular direction. They were clunky. And I think what actually ended up creating a lot of maybe emergent, whatever, team play, was just putting those clunks together. Um, now, finally, just from a class fantasy perspective, I think Legion, as I said, is faring quite well. Specs feel quite distinct. And that's refreshing coming from Warlords of Draenor, where I think some of them really had a decidedly similar feel to them. Not everything is perfect, though, as is to be expected in an alpha. Blizzard have already underwent radical changes to various different specs throughout the testing period, and I've got to say, in almost every case, I think it's been for the better. We've got to see where the testing takes us in regards to the classes and give strong and reasoned feedback as time goes on. So I hope Blizzard does manage to address the concerns of the PvP community with the PvP talent system, insofar as um, them adding some, you know, utility and stuff like that back in. I would also say that with PvP, maybe, if Blizzard were to make there be a bit less utility overall, but then make it so that healers were a little bit weaker and damage dealers outside of cooldowns were a little bit stronger, maybe they could get to a like a, an area of PvP that would be a bit more fun than it just being CC window here, burst window over there. Because I feel like it has been that for quite a while. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments or via Twitter, which is pretty much the easiest place to get me. But with all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.